Hey, boys and girls, it is Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. Uh, very excited to be with you. Um, so we've been working on addition, and we're going to be also getting into subtraction, all right, and looking at ways in which um, actually those two things kind of go together sometimes. I know they seem like the opposite, right? But you can actually, with subtraction, you can actually sometimes use addition to help you with the subtraction. Um, anyway, so we'll get into that. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing some uh, base 10 blocks, right? Using these guys, which are super awesome, super good for understanding math. Um, not the fastest tools in the world, but very good for understanding. So that's great. Uh, we'll be drawing some of those and doing some number lines. So, um, all right, so very excited. Um, so let's get started. Uh, but first, what I want to talk about, I want to talk, spend a few minutes just talking about what is subtraction. Okay, so you're probably like, well, Mr. McAndrew, we already know that. It's like when you take something away, right? So that's one, there's actually two ways of thinking of subtraction that I want to discuss. One way is probably what you're thinking of, which is you take something away, right? So if I have nine, uh, let's say nine, take away three, right? Nine minus three. All right, let's get this out of here, sorry. Okay, um, so I have nine cubes here, nine connecting cubes. So in this case, if I took away three, one, two, three, right? I took them away, they're gone. I don't know, maybe they were like uh, muffins and I ate them or something, okay? So I had nine muffins, I ate three, how many are left? Well, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know that nine, take away three equals six, okay? So that's the way that you probably think of it most of the time, right? Or if I had, let's say, seven minus, let's say, um, five, right? So let's say I have seven um, um, cookies. These are cookies, and I take away five of them. One, two, three, four, five, and I eat them, all right? How many am I left with? Two. Okay. So that's called subtraction as, as take away. Okay. That's what we're talking about there. You have, you have a certain amount. You have five fingers, right? You take two of them away. How do I do that? Let's say like that. And you're left with three. Okay. But there's another way to think of subtraction that can be sometimes very helpful in terms of solving a subtraction problem. Okay. So that looks a little bit different. It looks like this. Um, let me, I'll show you, but, but basically what we're talking about is, um, we're looking at not taking something away. We're looking at, um, how different are two different things? What's the difference between two different numbers? Or you could think of it as how far apart are they? Okay. So let's take a look. Um, so if let's go back to this problem, nine minus three equals six. Okay. So another way to think of that is, um, Hey, let me just build it for you. I'm going to build a, a tower of nine and a tower of three. Okay, so here, here's my tower of nine. I've got nine cubes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here I have three. Okay, oh, this one's coming off, sorry. Ah, sorry about that. So we've got three. One, now you're coming off. Jeez Louise. We've got one, two, three. Okay, so in this scenario, what we're looking at is how um, different are these two towers, these two numbers, right? Um, what's the difference between the two of them? So you can see that this tower, right, only comes up to the third one because there's only three. So the difference is six because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six more uh, cubes on the orange tower than the green tower, okay? So the difference between the two of them is six. I would, in other words, I would need to add six green cubes to make them equal, right? Or I would have to take away six orange ones to make them equal. Take those, right? If I took away six, I end up with, now they're equal. So the difference between these two is the six here. Okay, so that's why, that's another way of thinking of nine minus three is what is, how far apart are these two numbers? Okay, there's another way 
to think about this that might be more helpful to you, which is uh, a number line. Okay, so you've all played like um, or a number path. You've all played board games, right? You roll it like Monopoly or something. Um, so it's kind of like that. So I'm going to draw a number line. I'm going to move my head up here out of the way, Mr. McAndrew. Um, so I'm going to put it like this. All right, and let's say this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so now in this case, if we were just taking away like we did before and we're at the nine, then we hop back three. We go one, two, three, and we land on six. Nine minus three is six. Okay, but that's that's taking it away. If we're doing it the new way, the other way, which is finding the difference between the two, okay, so we've got this is six, this is nine. What we would say is, okay, well, here's nine and here's three. All right, now, how far apart are they? What's the distance between the two of them? All right, we already saw with our towers that it was six, but let's look at it on the number line. So either I could start at the nine, okay, and see how far back I need to do go to get to three. Like how far would I have to travel to get to three? Well, I would have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, nine minus, I uh, just hop back six to get to three. The difference between the two numbers, nine and three, nine minus three is six, okay? All right, now remember I said at the beginning of the video, and by the, boys and girls, there's going to be like two videos today, okay? Because this is really important. Um, the the um, the the difference, okay, between the nine and the three is six. But remember what I said is that you can use addition to help you with subtraction, which is like, what are you talking about, Mr. McAndrew? But if you think of subtraction as the distance between two numbers, okay, then watch what happens. So let's look. I could, let me erase this, sorry. I could do this. If I'm trying to find the distance between three and nine, I could start at three and add up until I get to nine. Okay, so we're using addition. So in other words, three plus what? question mark equals nine. So let's see, let's count up one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course it's six, we know that, right? So three plus six equals nine. So in that case, we're using our, our knowledge of addition to help us with subtraction. So I'm gonna keep coming back to these ideas as we get into bigger numbers. Okay, starting like right now, we're gonna start with some two digit minus one digit numbers but I want you to really think about these two types of subtraction and sometimes thinking of subtraction this way as the difference between or the distance between two numbers is really helpful. Okay, so um, in your packets, boys and girls, you have in your math packet, you have a word problem that looks like this. It says, Monday word problem. Please take that out right now. Stop the video. We've been talking about this, right? There's going to be a lot of me telling you stop and pause the video so you can do something. And then when you come back, we can go over it together. If you don't pause the video and do some of the work yourself, that means the entire time you're just watching me. Your brain's going to grow a little bit. But all the research shows that if you don't do some work and you don't get your brain engaged, even when it's kind of hard and you're like, what am I doing? I'm... When you're in that like, Whoa, what am I doing? I'm trying to figure this out. That's actually when your brain grows the most. It's kind of a frustrating time, right? You're like, well, I, I think I'm doing it right. I don't know. Like, uh, And maybe you get it right. Maybe you don't. It's kind of like, you know, when you get old enough and you start driving, and you're like, I think I know where I'm going, but I'm not really sure. Oh, I think I'm lost. Deep breath. You're doing fine. Your brain is just in the process of putting things together. You're fine, there's no problem. Deep breath, do your best, learn from your mistakes, and I promise you, you will learn more than ever. Okay, 
enough about all that. Take out your word problem and come back in a minute, please. Thank you. All right, so let's look at your word problem. I'm going to read it. You're going to work on it. And then we're going to look at some problems to help you figure it out. Okay, so it says Pedro was watching an ant hill and counted 37 ants. Have you ever seen ant hills like right in the sand or the ground? Like a little mound, there's a little like hole in the middle of it, right? That's where ants live inside there. Okay, it says five of the ants crawled into the hole. So they crawled into the hole. I'm like, all right, now I can't see them. They're gone. All right. How many ants can Pedro still see? So there were 37. Five of them went away. They crawled into the hole. How many can Pedro still see? All right, that's the question. So this is the time. Stop the video. All right, work on the problem. See what you can come up with. If you can't figure it out, that's okay. We're going to do some work on this right now. Okay? All right, so you do the work. Come back when you're done, and we'll talk about it. Okay, so we have 37 ants, right? Take away five. That's the that's the problem. So we're dealing with that first way of thinking of subtraction, which we usually think of, which is take away five, right? So I'm going to show using um, base 10 blocks first. Okay, so I'm going to set that up for you right now. I'm going to also, I'm going to draw my here. I'm going to put, um, let's put tens. And we'll put ones. Okay. All right. So, all right. So I have 37. Okay. Three tens and seven ones. All right. So we're going to think, um, uh, we're thinking about this in terms of ants, right? Okay. So we have three tens and seven ones. I'm going to subtract five. So I'm going to say minus five here. Now, I put 5 in the 1's place because it's just 5, right? If it was 25, then I would put, okay, it'll take away 20 over here, but it's, but it's not. It's just 5. So I don't need to do anything over here right now. I just take away 5 1's. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I take those away, right? So I had 7. I took away 5. And now, how many do I have? I have two, right? Do I need to take anything away over here? Nope. So I still have 30 here. So my answer is 32. All right. Is that the answer that you got? Okay. So this is a pretty easy way of subtracting, right? All you have to do is take away some of the ones and you're all set. Okay. So let's look at a different type of problem. All right. So boys and girls, for the rest of the video, what I need you to do is get out your base 10 pieces, okay, and your marker, eraser, and dry erase board, okay? So you need to get those materials. Um, so this is a moment when you need to stop the video to get what you need. When you have your materials, which is everything that I'm showing you here, then you are ready to get started, okay? So please get that now. Stop the video and then hit play when you've got your materials ready to go, okay? All right, so you should be all set. What I would like you to do, okay, and then we're probably going to have to finish this on the next video because um, once 15 minutes is up, these videos, they just end, is on your dry erase board, okay? You, you, if you put blank paper inside of it, it kind of shows up better, but you don't have to, okay? Um, what I would like you to do is um, leave a little bit of room at the top for a problem. Let's say we're going to do, this time we're going to do... Um, uh, let's say we do 48 minus 6, okay? And then let's write down 10s, and then write down 1s. Leave yourself more room for the 10s place. Draw a line down here, and then a line at the bottom, kind of like towards the bottom like this. Okay, so set it up like this, all right? And then what I want you to do is I want you to put down is I want you to show the number 48 here. So how many tens and how many ones? All right, once you've done that, then you can go to the next video where we're going to pick up, okay? So I'll see you on the next video in a few minutes once you've, oops, once you've shown the, the number 48 here. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Bye-bye.